Hello. Today I want to talk about why God allows suffering. This is the question with which many people across history have really struggled. And there is no complete answer, and I'm certainly not going to attempt to do that. But what I'd like to do in just a couple of minutes is to make a few observations from my own experience. Suffering is universal. No one is exempt. And yet many of us will complain, often bitterly, against it. We claim that suffering isn't fair. Suffering breaks the rules of normal engagement and we don't like it. It's a, it is as if suffering were an alien intrusion in the world. And if God really does exist, why did he allow my first child to have a genetic abnormality, which meant that she died when she was only six months old? The simplest and most honest answer is that I just don't know. However, I suspect that it might have something to do with giving our daughter six months to give and to receive love. And I also think it might have something to do with my wife and I learning about giving and receiving love. And I think it also might have something to do with giving many other people the opportunity who met her to give and receive love. For me, having the opportunity to give and receive love transcends even the worst experiences of suffering. It provides a focus and a purpose to that experience. Suffering seems to be woven into the fabric of our world. So rather than railing against it, I wonder whether better questions to ask are, what love can I give and receive in this situation? What can I learn from this situation? What can I do to help others who are suffering? Who can I walk with alongside in their suffering? Christians believe that Jesus became human so that he could walk alongside us and share in our suffering with a very specific purpose. And that was to make a new pathway out of this world to a different and spacious place, which is entirely and completely free from the scourge of suffering. Whilst I don't have all the answers to many difficult questions, I remain convinced that Jesus is worth following as I journey on this path to this place of perfection. How is life's journey treating you? Where is your destination? 